once worked with this guy that just bugged me. I didn't want him to bug me. I wanted to like him, but he just bugged me. Let's call him one-upmanship guy. Because he was that guy who always had to have one thing better than you. If you had an idea, he'd have one better. If you had some client success, his success would be just that much bigger. He was the guy where if you said you'd climb Mount Everest, he said he'd climb to the moon. He was that guy, just always one thing better than you. And I wanted to like him, but, but I would look at him and I would go, I mean, I wouldn't say this out loud, but I would think to myself, you deplete me, you deplete me. Every time I think about going to a meeting with this guy, I would, I would think I'd be walking in like this and I'd find myself just almost physically not wanting to go into the room with him, not wanting to sit across the table with him. What do you do when the people you work with weaken you? Well, here are four strategies you might want to think of. First, stop being around them. I know, sometimes you can't avoid them, but you can probably do something to avoid being around them. And sometimes a legitimate strategy to use for a bad relationship is to get out of it. So can you, first of all, stop being in situations where you're in close proximity with that person? Second, can you team up with someone that softens his rough edges? With this chap, with one-upmanship chap, there was a third person who we often used to work around who was really inquisitive. And whenever one-upmanship guy would say, hey, I've just done X, Y, or Z, rather than having my reaction, which was to get all kind of my, get my back up and my bristles up, this person would go, ooh, tell me about that. Ooh, tell me more about that. They were just naturally intrigued by what this person had just said. And actually, by hearing one-upmanship guy describe his new brilliant idea, I became kind of intrigued by one-upmanship guy's brilliant idea. This third person somehow made one-upmanship guy feel a little less annoying. Actually, he began to look rather smart to me. Sometimes that works, doesn't it? You bring a third person in, it changes the dynamic. Third, try this. Offer up one of your strengths and see whether or not you can, you can drag him into a place where he ceases to bug you quite as much as he did before. With one-upmanship guy, I mean, I'm a, I'm a guy who's conceptual. I love ideas. So after a while, I would just keep bringing him more ideas and seeing where he would take them. I almost took it as a little competition with myself to keep seeing in every meeting I was with him, could he really one-up every new idea, every new initiative, every new thought, every new action I could bring to the meeting? So in a weird way, he was motivating to me to keep offering up my idea strength, my innovation strength, my conceptual strength, and just see what he did with it. And frankly, sometimes he did some pretty darn good ways to take an idea of mine and take it up to a new level. Finally, try shifting your perspective on this person that weakens you. Can you begin to look at them through the lens of their strengths? Every single one of us probably rubs somebody the wrong way. And you could choose to look at somebody through what they don't bring. You could choose to look at somebody through who they aren't. You could choose to characterize anybody in the world by what they don't bring. Well, perhaps the problem wasn't one-upmanship guy's problem. Perhaps it was my problem. Perhaps I was looking at him as someone who was trying to compete with me, and all he was doing was trying to, was trying to bring new ideas to the table. Perhaps I shouldn't have looked at that as a direct conflict or competition with me. Perhaps, really, I should have looked at that behavior as him never being satisfied. Maybe he was the kind of guy who always was looking for some better way, some new way, some new configuration, some thing as yet unthought of. And therefore, maybe he was an awesome catalyst for me and the rest of the team. I did try that with him, and frankly, it worked like a charm for many years. What began as my problem, he weakened me, I changed my perception, and suddenly I saw him in a totally different light. I'm not, I'm not saying that will work with you every time. To go back to the original S, sometimes you do have to stop being around people. But there are other strategies you can try before you just opt out of the relationship and blame the other person.